Hello, welcome to this video. Right, this video was actually requested by a few viewers. In my Kubernetes and Jenkins playlist, I've got this video, Cube25 Discussion 1, where I explained how to deploy Jenkins and how to connect Jenkins to an existing Kubernetes cluster so that you can run your Jenkins jobs as parts in your Kubernetes cluster and basically integrating Jenkins with Kubernetes, right? And few of you had problems connecting your Jenkins to your Kubernetes cluster, but for those of who have used Minikube Kubernetes cluster, you would have got some problems connecting Jenkins to Kubernetes cluster. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to spin up a Minikube cluster and along with a Jenkins container and see how we can integrate Jenkins and Minikube cluster. Basically how you can configure Jenkins to connect to the Minikube cluster, what problems you will see and how to resolve all those. Right, I don't have any Minikube cluster so if I do mini cube status I don't have anything and I'm gonna start a mini cube cluster right I'm on Arch Linux and it has automatically detected that I've got docker and it's going to spin up a docker container it's going to spin up kubernetes cluster in docker containers and if I wanted I could have actually chosen kvm as I'm running Linux or I could have chosen virtualbox or ssh if I want to use another machine but by default it has chosen docker as the uh, the driver for deploying this cluster Okay, so we've got Minikube cluster. If I do Minikube status, we've got a control plane, host, kubelet, API, everything is running. kubectl cluster info, right? So that's the IP address of the Docker container that's running the control plane. kubectl get nodes. Yep, Minikube one node control plane and master version 1.22. kubectl version, kubectl get pods. Okay, so our Minikube cluster is okay is fine if i do docker ps so that's the the mini cube that's the docker container uh, that's running the uh, kubernetes control plane so now we've got a mini cube cluster and let's bring up a jenkins container so docker run it's again the same command that i used in the previous video docker run in a daemon mode background giving it the container a name jenkins and a couple of port mappings 8080 for the dashboard and 50,000 for the slave agent to connect back to the jenkins and i'm mounting a volume jenkins underscore data which is going to be a docker volume when i run this command it's going to create a docker volume named jenkins data so that we can persist everything under war jenkins home so that if we restart the jenkins container we still retain the data and i'm using Jenkins LTS um, as the container image. All right, so container is should be running now. And if I do Docker PS, yes, we've got the Jenkins container and we've got the mini cube Kubernetes container as well. All right, so if I do Docker logs minus F Jenkins, I'm looking at the, the container logs for Jenkins and I can see the admin password here. I'm gonna copy that initial admin password which I need to complete the Jenkins setup. All right, back in here, I'm going to go to localhost colon 8080 and paste in the admin password password here click continue install suggested plugins right so it's gonna take a few minutes to install all these plugins and back in the terminal you can see that it's downloading and installing all the plugins okay so this is going to take a couple of minutes I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's done all right the plugin installation completed and we are now required to create our first admin user so let me fill in the details when cat password and let's give it a random email okay and i'm going to change the jenkins url from localhost to 192.168.0.15 which is the ip address of my uh, machine let me check yep 192.168.0.15 which is the ip address of my uh, laptop where i'm running the jenkins container so if you leave it as localhost you would have problems elsewhere so change that to the ip address of the machine where you're running the uh, jenkins docker container save and finish start using jenkins okay what's that i'm going to dismiss that reverse proxy is broken i don't mind while we are here i'm going to click on manage plugin available and i'm going to search for kubernetes and install that so that's the first plugin kubernetes install without restart it's going to take few seconds right all of them are success and now i can click restart just to make sure that everything is fine right back in here if i do docker logs it says restart in 10 seconds right let's wait for jenkins to restart it has stopped and it's now bringing back up the container jenkins is fully up and running right let's verify yep we are back at the login screen login again 
Right, so we've got a Jenkins dashboard now, and we've got a mini Kube cluster, and we've got Kubernetes plugin. So now we just go ahead and configure the Kubernetes plugin to connect to our mini Kube cluster. Let's try and do that. So there's the option here to configure a cloud that will take you to this page, or you can just go to manage Jenkins, manage nodes and clouds, and on the left here, configure cloud add a new cloud so we've got the kubernetes plugin that's why we are seeing kubernetes in the drop down select that kubernetes cloud details there are different ways to configure this plugin right so the easiest way is to use your kube config file you just use your kube config file as a credential you store your kube config file within jenkins as a jenkins credential and then use it here for that we're just going to add a credential Jenkins and choose the type secret file choose a file and if I go to my home directory under dot cube directory there's this config so that's the cube config that mini cube has given me so when I ran mini cube start it has populated that it has created that cube config file for me so that's the reason I was able to run all these cluster commands and if I show you what's in my dot cube directory so there's this config which is the cube config created by mini cube okay and give this a name let me call it my cube config description mini cube cube config you can give whatever description you want add and then choose that credential that you just created let's test connection so the error is no such file exception so home venkaten.minikubeca.cr so this jenkins container doesn't have access to this particular file so that's the error let's dig deeper okay let's take a look at the cube config file that we added as a credential to jenkins and that was created by minikube okay so if i do cube.config and what you can see here is certificate authority is actually a file and not the data itself. So that's the file. And then again, under user, you can see client certificate and client key. So that's the certificate and the private key. And both are just a path to a file containing the data, but not the data itself. But think about where this is actually running. So this is Jenkins running inside a container and it's trying to access home bank minikube client.crt, client.key, ca.crt. These three files are never going to be inside your Jenkins container so these files are in my host machine in my laptop so if I show you dot minikube uh, there's the ca.crt and then if I look in profiles there is client.crt and client.key so this is in my host machine not inside the Jenkins container let me open up the cube config file again so okay so there are a couple of ways you can address this right we just need to make sure that either we copy these files into the Jenkins container or we replace this file with the actual data let me actually show you a different cube config file got a cube config file from another cluster that I provisioned using my vagrant environment let me show that so this is the uh, the cube config file and you can see the difference here so it doesn't show you actually the file it actually has the content of the certificate and the key here key and the certificate for the user and the certificate for the certificate authority all right as i mentioned there are a couple of ways you can address this issue one is you can copy these three files into a directory and then bind mount that directory inside the container and then update this cube config file to reflect where you've actually copied or mount the directory so basically you're just copying these three files inside your container or you can just replace this file with the actual data itself in order to do that if you I don't know if you've noticed so this one says certificate authority client certificate and client key and if you're using certificate authority you have to specify the path to the certificate and path to the keys okay but if you are intending to directly use the content of the certificate you have to use dash data if I show you the other two config file you can see certificate authority dash data client certificate dash data client key dash data which identifies that the content following is actually the content of the certificate and not the file so i find it easier to paste the content of the certificate certificate key and everything in the cube config file instead of going through the pain of mounting copying all the certificates to a directory mounting them inside the container updating the cube config file uh, and all those things okay let's go back here and i'm going to delete the credentials that i created manage jenkins manage credentials jenkins global credentials cube config file my cube config let's delete that okay right i'm going to open up another pane here 
and on the top I'm going to edit my .cube config and I'm going to replace the certificate file name with the actual content of the certificate okay so if I copy this and on the bottom pane here let's paste that so that's the actual certificate and you can't just paste this content here it has to be encoded format so we need to use base64 command to encode this okay base 64 right so that's the encoded format it won't work if you just paste it like this you need to get rid of the uh, the line wrappings there's a there's an option to base 64 that you can pause to get rid of to disable line wrapping word wrapping okay minus w0 and that's cool and there's a funny person character at the end if you want to get rid of that just use echo at the end right that's a clean content encoded certificate that we want to paste it in the kubeconfig file delete this file and remember we need to change that to data and then paste the content here all right so that's certificate authorities certificate and if you go to the bottom you've got the certificate and the private key for the user now let's copy this one and in the bottom pane let's clear the screen then do the same command base64 encoding with disable line wrapping copy that and delete add dash data and then paste that Right, the last one is client.key, copy that. Right, so that's a bit bigger content. Let me move my screen, copy that. And in here, let's paste it. Again, change it, add dash data and paste it. Okay, let me close this terminal and now our kubeconfig looks like this we've replaced the certificate file with the actual content of the certificate now let's tr do a quick check to see if we can still access our cluster kubectl cluster info yes we can kubectl get notes kubectl get pods yes so our kubeconfig file is still valid and it still works okay now let's go back to the jenkins and try the same thing again and see if we can now connect jenkins to the mini cube cluster okay add new cloud kubernetes cloud details add a credential secret file choose the file my cube config mini cube cube config add select that and if i do a test connection now at least we don't see the error that we saw previously now it's trying to connect but it's going to timeout there's one other thing that you need to make sure to do right so it says connection timed out it's definitely our cube config file is valid but for some reason the jenkins container was not able to connect to the mini cube docker container right so here if i do docker ps this jenkins container is not able to for some reason it's not able to connect to this mini cube control plane the actual problem Problem is you need to make sure that these two containers because they are docker containers they need to be on the same network so that they can access each other so for that if I do docker network ls you can see this network mini cube that was actually created by mini cube we just need to make sure that the Jenkins container we run uh, using docker is also using the same mini cube network all right so let's do this again for that unfortunately I have to destroy and recreate my Jenkins let's do that docker remove jenkins that's gone i also need to remove the jenkins data volume otherwise it's going to have the same configuration again right that's done and now if i do docker run command the only change that i'm going to do is i'm going to use the mini cube docker network so for that i'm going to pass in this option network mini cube. i'm going to pass in the minus minus network option and say i want to use mini cube that's that's all i'm going to do all right docker logs minus f jenkins and that's the initial admin password copy localhost colon 8080 okay there we go admin password paste continue install suggested plugins again i'm going to pause the video for a couple of minutes right plugin installation completed now let's create our first admin user save and continue and change the jenkins url to have my ip address 
9.21680.15 save and finish start using Jenkins right now I'm going to install the Kubernetes plugin so I'm going to go to manage plugins available search for Kubernetes install without restart right plugins installed I'm going to click restart Jenkins just to make sure that everything comes up cleanly so it will be restarted in about 10 seconds all right Jenkins is coming back up Jenkins is fully up and running you're back at the login screen bank at and the password right now we should be able to configure cloud let's see add new cloud kubernetes kubernetes cloud details and add a new credential of type secret file and choose the kubeconfig file under your home directory and in the dot cube directory give it an id by kubeconfig and a description add and then choose that configuration file and hopefully this time it should work fingers crossed Perfect, connected to Kubernetes version 1.22.1. So I'm gonna leave it here. All I wanted to do in this video is just to show you how you can connect your, configure your Jenkins to connect to Minikube cluster and things like that. So I'm gonna leave it with you guys, the rest of the uh, steps. Um, you basically, you can follow this Kube 25 discussion one. All you have to do is just complete this Kubernetes configuration and add a pod template and then maybe create a job uh, to see if you can run a job inside your Kubernetes cluster with uh, the Jenkins slave agents as the pods inside your Kubernetes cluster and so on. All right, hopefully you found this useful. And let me know if you've got any questions, I'll be happy to help. I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye-bye.